people during the uh, before the First World War, we had a war called the Majimaji, Majimaji resistance. It was a resistance against Germany occupation in East Africa, German East Africa, because German East Africa was Tanganyika, Burundi, and Rwanda. So this all called this area was called German East Africa. And Germany were here because of two reasons. One is cash crops, and the second was uh, medical research. So when they came here, they were insisting people to do cash crops, and also they were doing so much research on endemic trees. You all know about uh, botanical garden in the city. Near Karimji Hall, Karimji yes. building. Near Ocean Road. Yeah. I know, okay, no, I didn't see about it. Yeah. There's a botan bo uh, botanical garden. I knew that new. It, it's oh, just a small them. portion where the southern sun is. Yeah. That part is, yeah, yeah, used to be a botanical garden. Hmm. So they were doing so much research, they bought all trees from Germany, Tanzania. Unfortunately, the idea of uh, starting botanical garden in the city fell because of the alkaline soil. The, co uh, the soil is so salty. So they moved it to eastern Usambara, Amani, if you read about Amani. Yeah. Yes. So, okay, that's another story. Yes. So when they came here, first yes. like Moshi, uh, Moshi, Iringa, Morogoro, <laughs> and all the way to Mbea, Germany, they were taking people's farm or insisting people to grow like coffee, chai, or sisal. You know, in Morogoro, there's a big, yeah, big sisal plantation. So people, they wasn't happy with German rule, and they decided to organize themselves as tribes to fight against Germany. But most of them, they were uh, afraid of Germany weaponry because they are, you know, like big guns and stuff. Yeah. So there was a one guy called the Kinjeketir Ngwale, he's indigenous from Gindo tribe. Kinjeketir Ngwale. Kinjeketir Ngwale. I know. So this guy was a spiritual leader of Gindo tribe, and he was telling people that I had a dream that my uh, forefather and spirit, they tell me we can fight against Germany, and we have a special dawah to treat against the bullets. So he organized people from Gindo all the way to the southern part because Majimaji resistance, it was the southern part of Tanzania all the way to the Doma. And that's why most of these tribes we joke each other. If somebody died, I can go to their funeral and make all the mess and jokes. It's allowed because of the history. Yeah. So this guy, um, he supply all this medical to people, but what you do, you put that uh, dawa into the water and all the warriors who are going to the war will be drinking that water. So it will cure the bullet. When the bullet, the German shoot against you, you say, imagine you turn the bullet into water. So people, they mobilize, they fight against Germany, but all people died because you can't cure the bullet. So Germany, they start to ease their rule and they change their system. So people, they had their land back and they were start to get paid for their cash crops where they grown. Because back in the days, during the policy where they insist people to do cash crops, they had people called the Akida. Even in Kariako, they had like a small shanty house where Akida is collecting taxes to people. Like they go each house to collect tax. So because of that war, they start uh, abandon that policy of collecting tax. And then, you know, the First World War happened and German lost the war to British. So, during that war, people from this area, they used to hide in this cave. So after the war to be finished, uh, the Ramo tribe, they made this place as a sacrifice place, like a place where they come to worship. But normally they come here for different purposes. But the main one, during circumcised season to the boys, they take boys to the wilderness. They don't do circ circum uh, circumcision at home. They go to the wilds, they spend like one month or two months. When boys get healed, before they go back to home, the shaman, the head of praise, is bringing those kids to this place. And the aim is to sanctify them because you are going into spiritual world where you're being um, matured and you need to go back to society. You need to know what to do, how to take care of your women and the male rule, how you should behave and stuff like that. And the one funny thing is, when you're a boy, if your mom cooks a food, 
you're not allowed to take the food before you ask your mom. So this is the type of thing you'll be teaching during the time. And also for the boys, when you get married, they will tell you, like, you need to do this, 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 so as to protect your family and to protect your woman. This is the type of thing that you're doing. And the shaman, they have a special attire, which is black, red, and white. This is attire to invoke the spirits. And uh, after they invoke the spirits, you know, they speak to the spirit because you belong to different tribes. So sometimes we don't know each and everything what they're doing. So after that, normally they come with Magia Zamzam, uh, like Zamzam water all the way from Mecca. That's what they're saying. And then there'll be like um, uh, um, spill all over the place. And also they will burn incense because, you know, spirits love incense. And then after that, they go back home. But some people, they come for their own, you know, if they are sick or some people that are possessed, they come to the spirits and... That's how, this is what they use this case. So, up to date, they're still doing it. And even the forest, uh, the forest office, they know that. That's why this place is still protected. And there's a mark, they say, Zimu Amaboga. When we go back, you will see the, uh, there's a, like a mark, the sign which say, this is Zimu Amaboga. So we still, people, they still do practice of their tradition. And it's still under, government protection as well. So this is shortly about this place. Yeah. And also if you wanna do, uh, you wanna give sacrifice, normally you drop a coin on the ground, and that's, uh, you don't, you're not supposed to take any of that because it's forbidden. And also there's a board where you can put the uh, knot, like Pesa Karatas in there, where you see there's a cross. But we try to ask what this cross, what we present, but we still don't know. So, yeah. That's all about this. If you're ready to go. Where we, we leave the car. You remember where you start walking? There's an office. And there's again rain. Down. All the same.